Today on this 2006 Chevrolet Silverado Crew Cab, we're going to show you part number C15323. This is a Kurt Class 5 2 inch receiver hitch. Okay, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our truck. You can see it's a 2 inch receiver, it has a nice rounded collar around it. The receiver itself uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin. It has heavy duty chain loops as well on each side. Now this is also a square tube body on the hitch that goes all the way across on both sides. There's about a two and three quarter inch uh, gap between the hitch and the bottom bumper as well. Now the tongue weight, which is the weight pulling down on the truck, will be 2,400 pounds. That's the maximum load. And the gross trailer weight will be 16,000 pounds. Now this is the hitch with a ball mount and that's it. Now if you add a separate weight distribution system to the hitch, the, the, then the new rating of the hitch will be 17,000 pounds, and the tongue weight will still stay the same. Uh, and of course, you always want to make sure that your truck can handle this certain, this certain weight as well. So always check your owner's manual before you pull the maximum weight. Okay, next we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground will be about 14 and a half inches. Now our truck does have a load of tools in the back, so your measurement may vary. Now from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper will be about two and a half inches. All right, now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. All right, now to begin our install of the hitch, we'll go ahead and remove two pre-existing bolts at the end of the frame. There's one located here. This is the passenger side, and there's also the same one over on the driver's side. We'll use a 21 millimeter socket to remove them. All right, now at this point, we can actually already put the hitch in position. We're going to reuse the existing hardware, and with an extra set of hands, we'll go ahead and hold it up and reinstall the hardware. We're just going to keep it loose for now. Now we'll go ahead and show you the hardware that's needed for the rest of our attachments. The next one up going towards the front of the vehicle, we'll use this block. Now there's two different size blocks. For this attachment point, we're using a small one, half inch carriage bolt, and a flange nut. We'll take these two, put them together, drop it through the frame, and then through the hitch. The hitch will line up with a pre-existing hole, so we'll install the hardware. That was our passenger side. Let's do the same thing on driver's side. Okay, now for the next attachment point, we'll use the large block, same carriage bolt, and flange nut. All right, once again, same hardware over on driver's side. Okay, at this point, with all the hardware loosely installed, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolt, and then we'll torque the bolts down as described in the instructions. With all the bolts tightened down, in just a few moments our hitch is installed. Alright, with that, they'll finish it for part number C15323. This is the Kurt Class 5 2 inch receiver hitch on our 2006 Chevrolet Silverado Crew Cab.